Hey, be serious. It's your girl, Daphne. Want you to share, like, and subscribe. I hadn't been with you guys in a while. Make a video. My thing is, sometimes life has so many crooks and turns in it. And then when it has so many crooks and turns in it, you end up right where you started. <laughs> That's what's crazy. But we've had a busy year already. My little grand came home and we just got so much going on and I'm just um, reflecting over last year. So, my name is Daphne Ball. If I have any new subscribers, don't know. And uh, we try to promote positive energy, positive vibes, no negativity. We try to turn the other cheek. We try to have peace. But sometimes you have to have peace without what's causing you the problem. You got to get rid of it. We already have our village, big or small. No two to go to in your village. Everybody in your village can't help you because everybody ain't on the same level with you. But you do have people in your village that you're allowed to be there that probably shouldn't be there. We thank God for his grace and mercy and his protection. There's so much going on in the world today, people. We have to be ready. Sometimes you don't be ready when it happens. But I just want to see how you guys are doing. And um, I've done a lot of reflection about last year. And um, I went back and I went over some stuff and tried to think in my head, you know, what could I have done differently? Would it change the outcome? And what I'm going to do this year to have a great year. And sometimes you have to go back to the past to realize what you need to do differently in the future or when that, when that situation comes up again. And I want to see if you guys leave in the comment how your year was last year. And did you go back and reflect on what happened in your life last year and what you want to do different or have different to occur in your life? Yeah, I'm going to turn this heat down off because this temperature has risen up. Today we're supposed to be in the 70s. Can y'all believe that? And it was so cold last week and week before last. Now we're in the 70s. But I want you guys to um, think about it. And this is Black History Month also. And with us, with our history, we got to dig deep. We got to go back, way back. And I think we should do Black History all the time. Or we just don't just use February for Black History. Because it's so important that you know your roots your ancestors, the characteristics of your family, and the characteristics of people that you don't even know about. Because you can look back, and that DNA is something else, y'all. I know my grandma used to say, well, I got a daughter that get out and this and that and other, so you better be watching. So, you know, when people tell you stuff, you listen. And um, my grandmother was, you know, always telling us about how her mother, her grandmother, how they got here and the struggles they had and her great-grandmother had to hide in a chicken coop when they was coming from, I think, North Carolina. I said she almost smothered one of the babies because they was in a chicken house and the baby started to cry. They know they was hiding. And I said, just think about the sacrifices that your family and your um, sisters made for us to be able to do what we do. And to have the life that we got. And I said, I thank God because my mom died in 1966. I wasn't even two. My daughter, my I was one going on two, and my sister was two going on three. If my grandmother wouldn't have came to Chicago, Illinois, and got us and brought us back here, I, you, I wouldn't even be me. I wouldn't even know how my life would be. And I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful for that. And then eventually... I end up talking to my daddy after all the years. I talked to my daddy in 2020, 2006. That's how long it took me to connect with my daddy. And then by the grace of God, my mother-in-law went up there and found him. Just like that. Because she was the type of woman. She was nosy like that, y'all. And then when she found him, he told her that 
our family came and took us his kids from him and um he didn't have no control over it but i think a lot of times that made him i, I don't know if that made him feel good or not but it didn't really have any effect on me because like i said i was a baby i didn't know no difference and so uh, she gave me his number i called him and i told him i said you know what i don't know what happened because i was a baby but our relationship starts today however you treat me now is how it's going to be because I, I don't i wasn't aware of it but my grandmother said it was abusive i don't know but i'll tell you one thing i said um, them ancestors and the dna is something else i found out i talk fast like my daddy i found out i stuttered like my daddy when i talk fast i said my daddy sound like ike turner that's not funny, but y'all, I'm telling y'all, because he was from uh, Greenwood, Mississippi. And that's how he talks. And that's why I talk like I talk. So, see, I wouldn't have never known that, you guys, if I wouldn't have made the effort to call him to see, you know, what kind of lines of communication that we could have. And then the crazy thing about it, you guys, my daddy ended up dying that same year. Like I think in that June or July, he ended up having a stroke. I just started talking to him like January or February. He ended up having a stroke, going to the hospital, and dying. And you guys, the crazy thing about it, the lady that he was dating, she called my sister and told my sister that he was sick and in the hospital. Well, my sister calls me, and she gave her the number to the hospital. So when we call the hospital, you guys, that's what they tell us. This man answered the phone. He said, well, either he died or he's in nursing home. I said, well, he was just that bad, yeah. So I, we called the lady and was talking to her. She was really being non, I don't even know how to describe how she was saying and stuff. And then we got a sister that was like 16. She was the same age as my daughter. But she couldn't do anything for him because she was a minor. But him and the lady wasn't married, so the lady couldn't do nothing. So I think his aunt and cousin went up there and saw him. But to make a long story short, you guys, I'm going to tell you how crazy people can be. Now, even though me and my dad didn't have a real, real good relationship, this lady had buried him, had a funeral, had us on the obituary. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is what's so crazy. Had us on the obituary. And the thing about it, that was so crazy about it. Had us on the obituary, y'all. Sent us a, she sold Avon for that December. She sent us a calendar. A Avon calendar for Christmas. Then that February of the next year, she sent us my sister, the obituary. I'm like, what in the world had my name that I lived in Hattiesburg, Mississippi? Which I didn't. I don't live there. And then one of my co-workers that I used to work with, that was a traveling nurse, come to find out that we're cousins. And so I was telling her about it. And she was said, oh, my God. She said, that is crazy. She said, because I was telling um, I read that he was asking why, his brother was asking why we didn't come to the funeral. So how are you going to come and something you don't know nothing about? And then like I told my sister, I said, you know, that's really crazy. I said, because whatever my daddy left, my, sister, my baby sister could have had. Because I've already was married with kids and my sister was married. We didn't want anything from him. That's how crazy people can be. And I guess she turned 18, so therefore, but it still didn't matter. I'm the only one. With my daddy's name on his birth certificate. She didn't. Or my other sister don't. But that's show you how crazy people can be. That whole thing was just really something. I was just amazed. I could not believe. But you know what? When people think that you trying to do it, got ulterior motive for stuff, that's how they are. But to this day, you guys, I haven't had any contact with my sister. Or this lady. But I think that's what my goal going to be this year. Is to rectify that situation. Yeah. I'm going to try to work on that. And I'm going to tell my sister to get her involved. But you guys, now you see that? It came all the way back around. And then my whole point is too, that I had a relative that lived there. 
in the same city that he lived in. And we ask about him all the time. And every time, you know, she tell us, well, whenever I see him, I'm going to let him know this and that and other. I said, oh, okay. And we'd ask her all the time. My grandma said, stop asking her. Because they have dinner. She don't know where he at. Then to come to find out, he told us. He saw her all the time. So I don't know what that was about. But you know what, you guys? Life is life. And you keep living your life. And you know the funny thing about it? My grandma used to say this all the time. You will see when you get older. You will see, you understand. And then when I'm, now that I'm older, I understand exactly what she's saying. But that comes with wisdom, you guys. That comes with, you know, sitting back, sometimes being quiet. A lot of times what's wrong with us is we do too much talking and we don't listen. And I'm thinking when you're young, you don't pay attention to what people are saying or whatever's going on because you're a child. But I'm going like, I don't know what the situation was with that, but my thing is this. Find out what you need to know about your ancestors. Find out what you need to know. Because I'm telling y'all, when you find that stuff, sometimes it, it'll be a twist that you'll never, ever imagine. Now, who would imagine that the man was already past and she ain't said nothing and was already in the ground? That's crazy. That is really crazy. It was. But you be serious. Y'all have a good day. Y'all sure like and subscribe. And um, we're going to get back to having these videos. We've been having shorts. Uh, the resident cooker, been, uh, shopper been cooking and showing little stuff that she cooks. But we're going to get back to our channel and what we're supposed to be doing this. But I just want to come to you guys with that. And y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Did y'all think that was right for her to do that? Or what do you think? And then my husband, he was alive at the time. He said, that is crazy. He said, that is totally crazy. I'm like, yep. I love you guys. And I'll be chatting with you later. Bye.